In the United States alone, over 6 million adults over the age of 20 have heart failure. Additionally, heart failure contributes to over 300,000 deaths annually. To combat this, four powerful classes of guideline-directed medical therapy, otherwise referred to as GDMT, have been developed to substantially reduce the risk of hospitalization and death. Today, we will be discussing the star of the first class of GDMT called Sucubitrol Valsartan, which is under the brand name of Entresto here in the United States. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, Ricky here. Welcome back to Medication of the Month. Uh, at the time of recording this video, it's June 23rd and we're in the middle of a pretty significant heat wave, at least here in the Mid-Atlantic in uh, the Baltimore area. So I hope everyone is staying cool and, and staying safe inside. Uh, as a reminder, Medication of the Month uh, covers a specific medication uh, to treat a key cardiovascular disorder or disease state and will tell you everything that you need to know in case either yourself or someone you know is on this medication long term. Now to understand Sucubitrol Valsartan, we first need to establish some baseline understanding of heart failure and specifically heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, which is commonly abbreviated HEF-REF, and this is defined as a left ventricular ejection fraction less than 40%. At its core, when you have HEFREF or any type of heart failure, your heart no longer can meet the metabolic demands of the body, and this is mainly because the heart cannot supply enough oxygen-rich blood to your vital organs to keep them functioning properly. Now, in the case of HEFREF, there's two main types that you can see. You can have weakening of the heart due to plaque buildup in your coronary arteries, and this is sometimes referred to as an ischemic cardiomyopathy. And you can also have non-plaque related conditions such as drug-induced disease or infiltrative cardiomyopathy, which is called a non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. Now at its core, HEFREF is associated with three pathophysiologic changes that the body makes to try and maintain that supply of oxygen-rich blood. Number one, the body increases blood pressure Number two, the body increases heart rate. And then number three, the body increases the absorption of sodium and water, mainly through your kidneys. Now in the short term, all of these changes will help to keep you alive, which is beneficial, and get that oxygen rich blood to where it needs to go. But in the long run, these changes put additive strain on an already weak heart, lead to progressive worsening of the heart failure, and ultimately end stage heart failure. And therefore, you could kind of describe the heart as being in a failing loop where the initial insult to the heart leads to all these changes, and then all these changes lead to worsening of the heart failure. So it's these three pathophysiologic processes that we target with GDMT with the goal of putting less stress on the heart and hopefully regaining some of that function that we had at baseline. So getting into the nitty gritty of Sucubitrol Valsartan. Uh, Sucubitrol Valsartan, again, under the brand name of Entresto, is a product of Novartis Pharmaceutical Company, and it is an angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor, this is abbreviated ARNI, that is the preferred drug product in our first pillar of GDMT, the RAS system of medications, and RAS stands for renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system, inhibitors. The reason it's the preferred product is because in the Paradigm HF randomized clinical trial, Entresto was compared with a standard of care at the time, an ACE inhibitor called Enalapro, and Entresto was associated with significant reduction in all-cause death, cardiovascular death, and hospitalization for heart failure. Now, Entresto actually contains two different drug products within a single pill. We have Sucubitril and we have Valsartan. Starting with Valsartan, Valsartan's been around for a very long time. It is a class of medication called an angiotensin receptor blocker or ARB. And the main goal of Valsartan is that it helps to decrease blood pressure and it helps to reverse some negative tissue remodeling, which naturally happens to the heart during heart failure. 
Now, sucubitrol, on the other hand, is a relatively new molecule, and it is a neprilysin inhibitor, which inhibits the breakdown of a substance in your body called brain natriuretic peptide, or BNP. Now, BNP, again, is produced by everyone, and despite the name, it's actually released when there is an increase in stretch in the chambers of your heart. It is a natural diuretic, which means it helps you to urinate out excessive fluid, and this is beneficial in people with heart failure. And so the combination of these two drugs into a single tablet will help to better control blood pressure and volume status over time. Entresto is only available as a tablet, and it's available in three different doses. It's available as a low-dose tablet, which is 24 milligrams, 26 milligrams of the Secubitrol and Valsartan component, respectively. It's available as a medium-dose tablet, 49-51 milligrams, and then a high-dose tablet, 97-103 milligrams. Regardless of the dosing regimen or intensity that you're on, you should be taking this medication twice daily. Entresto does carry a black box warning, which means you should avoid taking this medication if you are pregnant or think you may be pregnant because uh, the Valsartan component specifically of Entresto has been associated with fetal birth defects. Entresto has a couple side effects to keep in mind. Uh, the four ones I want to highlight uh, are an increased risk of acute kidney injury, an increased risk of hyperkalemia, which is elevated blood potassium, you can have an increased risk of hypotension, which is low blood pressure, and then an increased risk of angioedema. Now, angioedema is basically, uh, you know, kind of like a nonspecific type of swelling that you can see in various parts of your body and different tissues. And when it's more severe, you can actually see swelling, you know, narrowing of the airways and actually an inability to breathe, which can be very serious. Uh, we theorize that this happens with Entresto because of that Secubitrol component. Not only does it increase levels of BNP, but it also inhibits the breakdown of bradykinin. And bradykinins are thought to increase your risk of angioedema. An important consideration is if you are on an ACE inhibitor before switching to Entresto, uh, an ACE inhibitor th are things like enalapril, ramipril, lisinopril, anything that ends in a pril, uh, you need to discontinue the ACE inhibitor and wait 36 hours before you start the Entresto. And the reason for that is if you take both of those drugs too close together, you'll have an increased risk of angioedema far above baseline. Now, finally, Entresto is a brand name product here in the United States. So it is associated at times with significantly high co-payments through your prescription drug insurance. There are coupon cards and patient assistance programs available through the manufacturer, but I always recommend if you are being started on this medication to talk with either your doctor or pharmacist and make sure you have a good sense of what that monthly cost will be before starting the therapy and committing it for a long period of time. All right, and just like that, we've gone through all the key points of Entresto. Uh, once again, to keep things simple, here's three things I want you to take away from this video. Number one, remember that Entresto actually contains two separate medications. It contains Secubitrol, which is a neprilysin inhibitor that helps you to better manage your fluid status in your body, and Valsartan, which is an angiotensin receptor blocker, which better helps you to manage your blood pressure. Secondly, remember that Entresto has been compared to standard of therapy and was shown to significantly reduce your risk of cardiovascular death and heart failure hospitalization. And that's why in most people with HEFREF, it is the preferred product. And third, just remember, this is a brand name product in the United States. It can be associated with significant costs. So make sure you are discussing that with your doctor or pharmacist early on before committing to this therapy long term. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, uh, feel free to leave a comment on the video uh, and also be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more really simple ideas and videos like this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.